Hi, coming to you from the Stinson family house. We'll be reading today, Take Care, Good Night. On once there were three little dragons. The dragons lived in a deep, dark cave that was in the king's forest. But the dragons were very, very happy in their cave. Oh, yeah. Oh, this could be fun. All right. They had a good friend. He was called the Good Knight. Every day he rode his horse, clippity cloppity, clippity cloppity, clippity cloppity, to the dragon's cave. To say, good morning, good dragons. Good morning, good night, replied the dragons. Every night he rode his horse, clippity cloppity, clippity cloppity, to put the little dragons to bed. Good night, good night, the dragon said before they went to sleep. Isn't that so nice? Oh. One day, after the good knight had ridden off on his horse, clippity cloppity, little dragons heard a knock on the door. It was another friend, the old wizard. Good day, little dragons. I was wondering if you could help me. The old wizard said, We will try, said the dragons. I would like you to watch my cat while I go away for a day, can you do it? Never a good idea to talk to an old man. The dragons had never watched cats before, but the good knight had taught them that it was good to do good deeds. Certainly, we will help you, said the dragons. The old, 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 old wizard was very happy. He told the dragons that he would have a note with instructions at his cottage. He left them the shiny silver key to his door. Take care, good dragon, he said, and then he disappeared in a puff of snook. This is going to be fun, said the first dragon. I can hardly wait, said the second dragon. Yippee, said the third dragon. The next day, the dragons went to the wizard's cottage to take care of the cats. They opened the door with the shiny silver key. They saw lots of cats. They found the wizard's note on the, on the count counter. There was only one problem. The dragons didn't know how to read. Duh. It says, give the cats fresh water. Give the cats food from the cupboard. Put the cats to sleep in their beds at night. <gasps> Uh, I think the first thing we're supposed to do is take the cats swimming in the lake, said the first dragon. So the dragons gathered up the cats and took them to the lake to swim. wonder how that worked out. <clears throat> Just then, the good knight was riding by on his horse. Good day, good dragon, said the good knight. What are you doing? We are taking the wizard's cats for a swim, said the dragons. He told us to. Cats swimming? That did not seem right. But if the old wizard said so, it must be. Very well, said the good knight. Carry on. But the cats did not like swimming. They did not like it one bit. They howled and yowled. They quivered and shivered until a couple turns the page. 
<laughs> the little dragons took them home. Then the little dragons looked at the wizard's note to see what's up next. I think it says to put the cats in the cupboard, said the second dragon. So the dragons put the cats in the cupboard. Just then, the good knight was riding by. What are you going doing? Asked the good knight. We were putting the wizard's cats in the cupboard. He told us to. Cats in the cupboard? That did not seem right. But if the old wizard said so, it must be true. Very well, said the good knight. Carry on. <clears throat> But the cats did not like being in the cupboard. They did not like it one bit. They scritched and scratched until the little dragons let them out. By the end, by then, the cats were very thirsty and very hungry, and were the little, so were the little dragons. But they looked at the note. Once more, I think we are supposed to take the cats camping, said the dragon. So the dragons took the cats out camping under the stars. Let's get some food. What are you doing? asked the good knight, who was coming to bring the dragons back to their cave. We are taking the cats out, of, out camping, said the dragon. The old wizard told us to. Cats camping? Then that did not seem right. But if the wizard said so, it must be. Very well, said the good knight. Carry on. <clears throat> but the cats didn't like camping. They didn't like it one bit. They jumped and bumped. They clawed and pawed. They cussed and fussed and hissed. And they would not ev even eat one toasted marshmallow. Uh, the good knight could not help but hear all the racket the cats were making. Something doesn't seem right, he thought. <coughs> back, back he rode to the wizard's house. Clippity cloppity clippity cloppity cloppity cloppity. Follow me, good dragon, he said. Let us get the, to the bottom of this and bring those cats. Inside the wizard's house, the good knight found the wizard's note. It did not say take cats to swimming. It did not say put cats in the cupboard or to take them camping. Didn't you read this, That he asked? <clears throat> The dragons hung their heads, their eyes filled with with drippy, droppy tears. Aww. We told him we would take care, but we don't know how to read, they confessed. So the good knight read the note to the dragons. First, they gave the cats water. Then they fed the cats food from the cupboard. And they put the cats in their beds to sleep. By then, by then, the dragons were very tired themselves. The good knight walked them back to their cave and tucked them in for the night. Aww, how sweet. The next day, the wizard came back from his trip. He visited the dragons. Thank you for watching my cats, he said. You did such a good job. I wanted you to have this. He handed them a tiny baby kitten of their own. Oh, and wanted you to have this, said the... And I wanted you to have this, said the good knight. He handed a book to the dragons. It was a book about learning to... Love you guys. You guys have a great night. Ciao.